Disney Plus is practically here, and with the new streaming service comes the promise of a whole new era for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Over the next several years, Disney Plus will roll out a number of original series that both take place in the MCU and star MCU actors, including Loki, Hawkeye, and WandaVision. The first of these new MCU series to hit the streamer will be The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, starring Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan as the titular heroes-slash-BFFs of Captain America. And though the show isn't slated to premiere on Disney Plus until fall 2020, filming has already begun, which Mackie and Stan have announced in hilarious fashion. As is customary when celebrities are involved with promoting a company's product, Marvel Studios had Mackie take over its social media accounts on Monday, November 4th. On Marvel's Instagram story, Mackie revealed that he was taking control of the account at Marvel's request, teasing VIP access and saying it would be Falcon all day. But Marvel's next Instagram story was from Stan, who said that he was taking over the account at the request of the studio. What? Yo, what just happened? I heard Sebastian's on this account too. Who gave him the password? This led to dueling stories from the two actors, with each of them making their case as to why he was the right choice to run Marvel's Instagram account for the day. In the end, however, the rivalry was revealed to be a ruse, as the two came together to reveal that production had started on The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier are in production now. now. So what do we know? On the series, both Sam Wilson, aka Falcon, and Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier, will try to figure out the best way to honor Captain America's legacy now that Steve Rogers has officially retired from the role. At the conclusion of Avengers Endgame, the elderly Rogers passed his shield onto Sam, effectively christening him as the next Captain America. But just because Steve wanted Sam to be the next Captain America doesn't mean he will be. Mackie told IGN that he isn't the new Captain America at the start of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and series showrunner Malcolm Spellman also said fans shouldn't go into the show expecting a clean transition from the end of Endgame. In addition to the two leads, at least two more familiar faces from the MCU are returning for the series. Emily Van Camp will reprise her role as Sharon Carter, the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent who had a brief romantic fling with Steve and who, it must be noted, is the niece of Steve's eventual wife, Peggy. Also back is Daniel Bruhl as Helmut Zemo, the main villain from Captain America Civil War, who will also serve as the main antagonist for the series. Only this time, he'll be wearing his purple mask from the comics. Rounding out the main cast is Wyatt Russell as newcomer John Walker, a character with a 30-plus year history in Marvel Comics under the monikers Super Patriot, US Agent, and Captain America. Marvel has been pretty tight-lipped when it comes to the actual plot of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That includes not revealing who, if anyone, will be the next Captain America. Prior to Avengers Endgame, many fans assumed that either Sam or Bucky would take up the mantle of Cap, as both characters have had stints as the star-spangled Avenger in the comics. After Endgame was released and Falcon received the shield, with Bucky's blessing, it seemed pretty obvious that Sam Wilson would be the next Cap, but with the comments made by Mackie and others relating to Falcon's status within the series, it seems that someone else may become Captain America instead. And that may be where John Walker comes in. First introduced as Super Patriot in the 1980s, Walker is the opposite of Steve Rogers. Whereas Rogers is a patriot, Walker is a nationalist, representing the less savory bits of America and fighting crime with much more brutality. When Steve Rogers gave up the title of Captain America in 1987, the government selected Walker to take his place over Rogers' friend Sam Wilson. The reason? The powers that be didn't think the country was ready for a black Captain America. Could the Falcon and the Winter Soldier follow the same plot? It's hard to imagine Disney wading into this kind of political territory for its first MCU series on Disney+, Plus. but as we saw with Black Panther, the company's subsidiary Marvel isn't afraid to make a statement on issues that matter. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Marvel Universe are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.